Well, we're gonna talk to these strays a little bit more. Okay, that works. Just jump off the fence. And then we'll go find ourselves a blood doll. Oh god, it's great. No, turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Dang it. Last thing I need is another another beginning with messed up voices. E evening. Ah, are you okay? It's n n nothing. Do I scare you? N n n no, I, I have a sp speech problem. S so sorry. Clearly. Sorry to bother you. Goodbye. What about you? Um, uh, uh, do you know who the head vampire is? Uh, what are you talking about? If the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? Only in the movies. Oh. But, um, how about blood transfusions? If I get a full blood transfusion, I can become human again, right? No, I think it's permanent. What? Oh, no. There, there's nothing I can do? Unless you reach that certain condition, the salivary, whatever. Can't remember what it's called, but I think the, the whatever that third eye clan that the Tremere drained to become vampires themselves. Uh, they had a path for it, I remember. You could become human, theoretically. Uh, you could try not to let your condition defeat you. But how? I don't want this. I want to be human again. Guess what? It's not going to happen unless you do that super difficult path thing. There's nothing I can do. I'm damned. I mean, you don't age. You can live forever. So, uh, good luck. <sighs> alright. Alright, alright. Get away from there. Let's go up here. I think there might be something. Oh. Got a wolf. Now, the werewolves in the world of darkness are incredibly powerful. They make uh, the vampires seem like wet paper in comparison. I think it's a. Oh, I just turned way too quick. Yes, we get to look at that. It's all strung up there. Something that resembles an arcade. River raid. No. Blood quest. Pitfall. <laughs> Ah! Haha! <laughs> How do I put that away? Call of Duty Pinball Machine Rampage. Jeez. Actually... I didn't even... I don't think I've even went through here. King and Neptune? Neptune? Well. Alright. And then... Yes, next we gotta go find ourselves a blood doll because we are really low on blood. And I know just the place to find one. Look at all these tender blood bags. Alright, sure. I'll just uh, go buy a watch or just go steal one. So. After that whole incident with the copyright claim for all the licensed music that's in here. Discovered there's a whole folder where they keep the licensed music and deleted it. <laughs> uh, I could just completely replace the tracks with uh, non-licensed music, but that won't stop the copyright claims. But, you know, it's funny. It's funny this way. This is how a club should be. Nice. And not loud, so you can uh, enjoy conversation. Converse with people. What? Yeah, I can't hear you either. I'll never forget this night. I know, I will never forget what is this shit? the sight of watching you guys dance. While no music's playing. You know what? 
You can still dance when there's no music playing because the music is all in your head, right? The music of the body as he just like slaps her. That's okay. Hey, hey, G get away. Back off. I mean, jeez. Um, let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's talk to this one. Look at this one. She's wearing black. I'm going to say those are tight pants. Black tight pants. She's got her hair dyed red. She's wearing a, a top. I think that's fishnet. I'm not sure. Um. Hey, what are you doing out of my dreams, beautiful? Um, I don't know if I like that one. Uh, how about the weather, huh? Nice weather it is, <laughs> right? Uh, or like what you see? I know I do. <laughs> Not in this lifetime. Oh, are you kidding me? Um. Let's try that again. Hey, what are you doing on my dreams, beautiful? You are so not my type. Come on, uh, I need a blood doll. Um. Jeez, I don't like any of these. What is going on? I don't remember this being difficult. I'm with somebody. Okay, great. I I just want to get pet. God damn it. <laughs> Back off. It's just like a real club. People won't let me pass them. You. Does anyone smoke anymore? Sheesh, is this place always so dead? You know what? I I think I uh Oh, I get it. Um uh, more than you think. <laughs> I thought coming to LA was going to be more exciting than Arizona. I didn't come all this way just for watered-down booze. Oh, come on. Arizona has cicadas harassing you. Uh, uh maybe I, you came all the way here. Wait, wait, what? Uh, maybe I'm what you came all the way here for. Right. Goodbye. Gods. Fun, people. Did I not put enough points into... into... seduction? Yeah, I'm a two. Crap, we're doomed. Those were the two blood dolls. You wanna... Yeah. Okay. Just... Her. The quest for blood. Worse comes to worse. Uh, we got blood bags. Never mind. Use. I like to save those for a rainy day. But... We can't do rainy days anymore. Just rainy nights. What are we doing? We got the astrolite. Drop it off with McCurt. We'll do that. We'll go through these maze of back streets. Oh, hey, this one's uh... a nice night out, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's just save it real quick. Get this guy. Let's wait until he's nice and uh, I don't know what he's doing. He's peeing. Let's peeing? Hops, bro. You peeing, bro? You peeing? Okay, we don't know if anyone's gonna wa catch us. So, uh, we'll stop! Yeah. Yeah, you had a great pee, didn't you? you got a little necked. <laughs> oh, I am so glad vampires do not exist because, uh... Going to go pee behind the dumpster and you end up getting, a. Uh, <laughs> Necked from behind. <laughs> that would not be pleasant. Alright, well, I guess I didn't really need to do the blood bag, but... Oh well. Just hung out in the alleyway. <laughs> Jumping people. Should have been too risky, mate. Oh, we don't have... We don't have anything... Oh well. He's just gonna have to suffer. Ah, damn it. He died. Uh, oh, okay. Hey, I got the astrolite back. Yeah? Did you waste those sons of bitches? Um, well, I exploded a door. That was... That was strange. Yes, they left me no choice. Good. Great. It was painful. Did you get my money back? Yes, here it is. Oh, uh, you're a lifesaver. I might have to buy some new kidneys with this. 250 is not gonna give you new kidneys. Um... What's the story with this astrolite? That astrolite? Twice as powerful as TNT. Instant demolition. Be on the other side of the world when you engage that timer. You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabat interest. Oh, no. 
Not the Sabbat. Uh, what's a Sabbat? You haven't been doing this too long, have you? The Sabbat, as I understand it, are your typical power-hungry movie monsters. They specialize in causing grief. I tangle what they're like, let me tell you. I didn't enjoy it. Yeah, I don't think anyone enjoys it. Unless you're, uh, Zimisi or Lazombra, which seems to be the leadership. Otherwise, you get, uh, you know, turned into a vampire against your will, buried, and then you gotta dig your way out, and that's your uh, initiation into the Sabbat. So, where's this ha warehouse? I heard a lot about that operation. Well, I'd love to get in there, get my hands on the equipment they've been unloading. But it'd be suicide to walk in there. Got a small army of trigger-happy types, and they're all packing. I don't know, maybe, uh... Maybe what? Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. Uh... There, uh, why? Why is that? Tong's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway... Word is Therese and Tongue are feuding. I don't know the details. Mike takes that Tongue thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're going to have to get Therese to call off the feud. Where can I uh, find her? She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. Oh yeah, I saw those freaky customers. They wouldn't let me walk past them. And there was a number of them that were dressed the same. So, uh, what can you tell me about Jeanette? Therese? Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so's Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. Rumors? Go on. All right, Jeanette got a body built for bedrooms. And I got close acquaintances says they conquered that territory. But I asked the main man, and he says you types, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. Uh, anyway, whatever she is, I hear Jeanette's a wild girl. Oh, yeah. These vampires do not fornicate. Who exactly? Uh, tell me about yourself. What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. You could say it's my calling. Till the astrolite. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back east some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate LA, but what are you gonna do? Yeah, uh, thanks for the uh thanks for the info. We're done. Alright. Time to go meet this Teresa person. Maybe we'll pick up some uh, some of the side quests. There's pretty interesting side quests. If I remember right. I don't recall where to pick them up. So uh, let's uh, go to the club. Get that out of the way. Ooh. Yes, there's a blood bank. That's another option. We'll consider that. We also have to go to the diner. Let's go to the club, because I like how quiet it is. Any kindred who wishes to blend in with mortal society must obey its laws, unless you have a ton of money. Oh, oh, that mustache says maybe. Okay, okay, um, I think she's back. I think we ought to talk to the bartender. Uh, get something for you, chief. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for Therese. Know where I can find her? Therese? She's upstairs. She said she had business to attend to, but I can hear her and Jeanette bickering from here. Why do you need to see her? I need to talk to her. Yeah, yeah, I hear that from everyone, pal. She expecting you or something? Um, that's it. She's expecting right, me. Look, I'll cut your break because we're busy here. I'll buzz Therese, tell her you're coming. Take the elevator over there up. But if I hear that you're not supposed to be there, you and me are going to have a little heart to heart. You hear me? Sure thing. Blood, 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 blood bag. All right. I remember that going differently when I played, but okay. Buttons. 
Is it moving? Are we going up? No. Okay. It's like a real elevator. They really captured the elevator in a rundown club. Your city? Last time I looked, it was called Santa Monica. Not stuck up bitch. So vulgar. I can't even look at you sometimes. Jezebel. Oh, Therese, you really do paint a flattering portrait of me with your turn-of-the-century barb. I always assumed you could do nothing but look down on me. Just the sight of you. The sight of that wicked, painted pout, concealing that dirty, diseased mind. Sin! You have no shame. <laughs> Let she who is without sin cast the fierce tone. Go ahead and mock me. You pull your pranks, make fun of my ways. It suits you. You're just one big joke. Don't you call me that. Should I start calling a duck a pig as well? I'm your sister. How can you treat me like this? That's it, Jeanette. Run away from the truth. I'll take care of everything, as always. It's a combination of the writing and the voice acting that makes this game. I would love for there to be a remaster of it. A remake. Not a remaster, just a remake. But they have to get the voice actress who did uh his characters. Know, savory characters trying to Please come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. Yeah, you would know. So if you if you say so, I guess uh, that means you're Therese. Therese Vorman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? Ah, uh, call off the feud. <laughs> You're new to this, aren't you? Were you trying to dominate me just now? That was so stupid it was almost cute. Almost. Well, shit. That's right. If you're a weaker vampire, you don't want to dominate. And <laughs> then older one. Uh, I need to call off the feud with Bertram Tongue, please. Tongue's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then, what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? Bloody Nosferatu. They're so... unclean. Why do you hate him? He meddles in my affairs. He's a bad influence on my sister and she on him. If you were in my place, would you let him compromise your authority? You most certainly would not. I'd quite like it if I never had to hear that name again. Then can you put out the word that you've got no feud with him? Why would I do that? Let him think I mean to kill him. That way I don't have to worry about him sabotaging everything. Do you realize how his subterfuge makes me look to the Camarilla? That's unfortunate, but I do need to see him. Tongue and his co-conspirator's actions ruined my chance at partnership in a crucial piece of property. I do have several other promising ventures, and one in particular has been, to say the least, an ordeal. Hmm. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with Tongue have been swept under the rug, but in return, you'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. Uh, spirit? You mean a, you mean a ghost? Oh, I forgot. You're still new to this. Allow me to break you in. Yes, ghosts exist. Werewolves, mummies, and I'd expect a whole lot of other things I've never seen share the night with us. Booty and angels and demons. Uh, sure, I'll do it. What do I have to do to get rid of the ghost? Rumor is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt. While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirits, and bring it back. Uh, okay, I, I'll, I'll do it if you promise to call off the feud. Oh, I fully intend to do so. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold. I remember, she was at the execution. Business? Is that what it's called when a dog fetches a stick, um... I respect that and I appreciate it. Goodbye. Before I forget, take this. The only way to reach the Ocean House this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. You'll need that key to open the gate for that tunnel.
Uh, if that's what it takes to get the job done. If you'll excuse me, I've got situations to set straight. Okay, maybe I have some questions. Uh, tell me about your sister. Is she single? Jeanette is the freak show I keep around to lure in curiosity seekers. She's very good with the clientele, but her business skills are approximate to those of a four-year-old with a one-dollar bill and a five-and-dime. <laughs> uh, I think we're done. I feel a chill. What? You feel a chill? So, this is their room. Oh. Hack. Email. Password. What are we... Control C. I should have put more points into seduce rather than hack, I guess. It's wishes. Uh, from... Bertram. I'll be hiding out until your sister calms down. Let me... Let her know I pose no threat. And have her contact me when all is well. From Mikey. Hey, what are you doing Friday night? I was thinking about stopping by the club. Maybe we can, uh... Do some of that <laughs> dancing. From Therese. You dirty little slut. How dare you meddle in the affairs of my city and with that disgusting Nosferatu, no less. Alright, that's, that's all they got. Exit, exit. Guess she's hiding out in the bathroom. Twins. Twins who are turned into vampires. We are not the Zombra. The Zombra do not have reflections. Maybe that's the secret. We're all the Zombras in the end. So every clan has a curse, as well as all of its strengths. The uh, Malkavians are crazy. The Nosferatu end up pretty horrific looking. Um, Ventru can only drink certain types of blood depending upon, or er, varies between each Ventru. Otherwise, they get too sick. Ruha, uh, very passionate, tend to lose their temper. Gangrel, greatly tempted by the beast, and. Hey, I think they're just more apt to a uh, frenzy. Let's see, Tremere. I don't recall the Tremere's weakness, clan weakness. I think. Hello, I don't care. I need to find him so he can find him. It's 250 grand of my money on the line here. Look, look, I'll talk to you later, okay? Let me know if you hear anything about either. Ah. You don't know how to get out of a chair properly, do you? Hello there. How you been? Hello. Welcome to Kilpatrick 24-hour bail bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? Uh, you run this place, I assume. Yep, sure do. I'm a third-generation bondsman. Got a few employees, but I handle most every aspect of the business. Yeah, look like a bondsman, too. Uh, how is business these days? Or are you looking for some help? We well, need money. I can't seem to find my damn bounty hunter Carson. It's pissed me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? I'll pay you for your time. Excellent. I suppose I could, but uh, of course, where should I look for him? Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment one, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card that'll let you in. Excellent. Uh, goodbye. I suppose there could have been questions I could ask. I do not recall. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here. And uh, the Giovanni. I think the Giovanni might have been like incest. Is their clan curse, or they always smell like rotten flesh? I think the Tremere is that they are all interconnected. I don't recall. Okay, we gotta question her about someone. Be. Um, Dream's curled. I can smell it, and I think those are rat droppings there. You're the health inspector. 
Let me just get my badge and I'll show you. You know, at least the last health inspector had the decency to make it clear when he was asking for a bribe. Here's 50 bucks. I get to live the dream for another exciting one. Yay. Yay. Thank you. What'll it be? Uh, have you ever seen any pale kind of strange types in here late at night, aside from me? Is that a trick question? Anyone? Uh, you see any girls hanging out in here? Some uh, pale girls? Oh, a few months ago, surfer guy, pretty girl. Hmm, let me think. Oh yeah, about four dozen a week. Pale girls. Pale girls. Oh, like the Fitzsimmons albino. Yeah, she hasn't been in here in ages. Thin blood, maybe? Thin blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? Where did you last hear it? Mm. I know I've heard that before. Maybe a kind of strange pretty girl said something about her recently? Oh, that girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Not like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah. Weird. She left the tip, but she didn't order a thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. She left some stuff here. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you run into her? Sure. Thanks a lot. I'll uh, be sure to do that. Hopefully she left some money. <laughs> Can't. I can't get these guys. Just want. I, I need some blood dolls. Oh, girl's photo. Look at that photo. Yep. I didn't see the back because it's all shiny. August 3rd. Did it say Santa, Santa Monica? Lily, yes. Curse! Uh, can't do anything with that. Let's see how much money we have. We have $85. Looks like you've got a wallet set for a night on the town. Nowadays, not so much. I wanna, I wanna talk to this guy. Hey. No. Okay. What about this guy? Something I can help you with. Oh, he's he's a vampire. He's got the teeth. Uh. So how you doing? I don't see how that's any business of yours. Didn't mean to intrude. Goodbye, then. I don't know what his story is. I don't remember him being there either. Alright, well next time... We'll, uh... Do some stuff. Get some quests. Go to that... Oceanside Hotel. See some scary.